Unraveling the Mystery, Jesus' Three-Day Journey from Death to Resurrection The crucifixion of Jesus, a pivotal event in Christianity, is well documented in the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They recount how Jesus was crucified and hung on the cross for about six hours before he uttered the immortal words, It is finished, as recorded in John 19 verse 30. He then bowed his head and surrendered his spirit. His body was taken down from the cross shortly after, prepared for burial by Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, one of his followers. Three days later, his body and spirit were reunited, and he rose from the dead. After his resurrection, he revealed himself to his disciples, starting with Mary Magdalene, before ascending to heaven. However, the question that has intrigued many is, what happened during the three days between his death and resurrection? Where did Jesus go, and what did he do? This episode aims to shed light on these queries. The Bible, particularly the Synoptic Gospels, does not provide a detailed account of Jesus' activities during those three days, also known as the harrowing of hell or the descent into hell. The Gospels focus primarily on the events leading up to Jesus' crucifixion and his resurrection. The period between his death and resurrection is more rooted in theological interpretations and traditions rather than explicit biblical narratives. One of the clearest revelations of Jesus' whereabouts during the three days of death can be inferred from his conversation on the cross. According to the Bible, Jesus was crucified next to two thieves. One of them asked Jesus to remember him when he entered his kingdom, Luke 23 verse 42. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. This suggests that after his death, Jesus went to paradise or heaven. Another interesting account of Jesus' whereabouts is found in 1 Peter 3 verses 18 to 20. It states that after being made alive, Jesus made a proclamation to the imprisoned spirits who were disobedient long ago. This passage could be interpreted in two ways. First, it could mean that Jesus, sometime between his death and resurrection, went to hell or Hades and made an announcement to the spirits imprisoned there. These spirits could be either demonic or human, or even errant angels. It is likely that the spirits mentioned in the passage are fallen angels who were imprisoned for violating God's law. The reference to the flood of Noah indicates that the violation occurred before Noah's time. Although the passage does not specify what Jesus told the imprisoned spirits, it seems unlikely that it was a message of redemption, as angels cannot be saved. Hebrews 2 verse 16. It is more likely that Jesus proclaimed and declared his victory over Satan and his hosts. So, from this perspective, Jesus went to hell to announce his triumph and declare his victory over death and Satan. Ephesians 4 verses 8 to 10 provide some insight into this mystery. It states, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. This suggests that after his death on the cross, Jesus descended to the lower earthly regions, and upon his resurrection, ascended higher than all the heavens. During this time, it is believed that Jesus gathered all the redeemed souls who were in paradise, including figures like Abraham, David, Joshua, Daniel, Lazarus, and the thief on the cross, and led them from Hades to their new spiritual home in heaven. Another interpretation of Ephesians 4 posits that during the three days between his death and resurrection, Jesus defeated our spiritual enemies, the devil, death, and the curse of sin, and ascended victoriously to heaven. This perspective aligns with Matthew 12 verse 40, which states, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. While the exact details of what transpired during those three days are not explicitly outlined in the Bible and various Christian traditions hold different perspectives, Jesus' own words provide some clarity. He said, Today you will be with me in paradise, indicating that he went to paradise after proclaiming his victory over death and completing his work of redemption. Join us in this episode as we delve into this fascinating topic. Your thoughts and comments are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. May God bless you.